All right, guys. Assalamualaikum and a very good afternoon. Uh, it could be night time. Should you're watching this at night, it could be tomorrow morning or whatever it is. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, back to uh, my page, uh, Mr. Mio Adlan on Facebook, and you no, know, I've been. Uh, I, I do hope that everyone is actually being happy, being proper, being sane right now because you know with, with the things that is currently happening. Obviously, this is MCO day. I don't even remember anymore, but we are almost uh, at the point of the two weeks from what the Prime Minister have, uh, has actually announced previously. So we are entering into the extended MCO starting uh, the day after tomorrow. So uh, I, I really do hope and wish that everybody is okay, still fine, no panic buying. You can still go out and buy stuff. You can still you know, try to live your lives uh, as proper as you possibly can. And to pass the time, uh, I, I took upon it myself to get people for, for us to actually sembang, uh, hence why the show is called Sembang Senpoi. And for this particular episode, we have the one and only, the guy who has been my mentor for a bit. Yeah, I do not really want to toot his horn too much. Uh, but he has been my mentor. He's also been my boss for quite a while. He's been in the... Uh, industry, the radio industry for the longest time ever. You will understand why when you see him later. Uh, but now he's also like myself. He's a freelance uh, MC. He goes around uh, talking to people, convincing people that he's cool and awesome and everything. So, ladies and gents, this is Nafsta. Navin. Yeah, you know what I wanted to do? I wanted to actually start by the show by picking my nose. But uh, <laughs> you came in too quick. All right, yeah. but uh, hmm. what, what do you mean by trying to convince people that I'm cool? No, no, I no, am no. cool. They know it, man. <laughs> look at me. No, look at look at look at this face, man. Look at this face. Yeah, I am cool. Up, no, looking at that face because again, uh, I you have seen a couple of days ago, I was actually online with uh, one of our professional colleagues, uh, Amanda Andrea, and yeah. dude, you're, you're a trying to steal her followers, right? No, 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 no. No, what I'm trying to you say you're trying to steal her followers, and she dumped you. The moment you said that, the line got bad. She dumped you. You know, she, that's what happened. You know, she was being trying to be politically correct and being nice to you and all, but face the fact you were trying to steal her followers, okay, and she dumped you immediately with an excuse of she had poor connection. That was Australia, dude. What kind of poor connection would you think they'll have? She was no, trying I, to avoid you, but you you were you were persistent on having her on the show. <laughs> okay, okay. You know that I can mute you directly right here, right now, and just like disregard whatever it is that you're trying to say, right? you the rest of your life if you ever do that. No, just okay. kidding. It's, hey, no, it's no, good no, to have, no. you, uh, have myself yeah. on your show. Exactly. I, I mean, thank you so much for, for you know, making yourself available uh, during this yeah. time. Uh, I know that you have nothing uh, better to do apart from just coming online and just have a chat with well, me. Let them face mm. the fact, me being on your show is the best thing that ever happened to you in your life. So, <laughs> you're, you're welcome, you man. <laughs> No, but, but, but it's, it's you, you know, people like us, you know, we, we MCs and everything. Again, I mean, like, the first time that I met you was actually for a job. Uh, it was back in 2017, um, yes. where, where, I mean, like, you know, fate had it that, that we were brought in together in a very dark, questionable karaoke room. Remember that down in Bangsa? Mm -hmm. where we had... It was kind of cheesy anyway, but... <laughs> No, it's not your, your go-to karaoke when you bring your families and everything. It's a bit of a... Yeah, it's kind of dodgy the four one second. <laughs> I hope the person who I got the place is not listening right now. But, no, um, I hope not. But, but if he is, then thank you so much. Because of him, then we got to meet each other and we had the chance to, you know, nurture this relationship. Uh, if yeah, you can call it that. Anyway, so, yeah. yeah so, you know what, um, hmm. how, how long is this chat going to take by the place? Um, well, I mean, like, given our, uh, well, given our choice, to be honest, it can go on for days, but we try to limit it for about half an hour, 30 minutes, if we can, uh, not, okay. not to go too long, uh, because again, because people I, like I'm, that, I'm actually trying to link this whole thing on my page, but I don't need to go to do that. There was too many things going out on the phone, so I couldn't do it. So I was thinking of getting okay. my laptop, but then we will talk, we'll talk, I still can do it with my laptop. Okay, moving okay. On a little bit. Make sure you share this out because I do want to share it out with your viewers as well, with your followers as well on, on, on what we're going to be talking if you, if about. You plan, if you plan to like steal my followers, you can dream on because none of them will follow you. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, like, you know, we, we got the gangster face, man. You got the long hair gangster type. I got the bota. No, trust me, they won't follow you. 
why they won't wouldn't follow they you. Follow, why wouldn't they want to follow me? Because they're not going to get any jobs out of you. <laughs> oh, that that's just cool, man. That's just cool. That's just below the belt. No, no, I mean, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just it's like a, first things first. I'm pretty sure it's it's weird right now for them to know what exactly is going on. But uh, then again, uh, it's it's the so-called CMO, so anything could happen, man. Anything could happen at all. Yeah, exactly. I'm sure I you're mean, regretting why the hell did I invite this Indian boy on my show, right? No, no, <laughs> I should no, no, have no. just picked somebody else, but I had to pick this one to ruin my show, who's kind of dominating my show right now, taking over. Uh, well, that happens, man. This is what happens when you've been in the radio for a very long time. Yep. And this is what we usually do to other hosts. Mm, exactly. I mean, like what well, well, you just mentioned, that like, you've been on the radio for the longest time. Again, the gray hair that you are, you know, parading right now shows that so obvious. So I'm you know, not that so, old again. Yeah. Been that long, but not that old. I started young. <laughs> no, you know what? The trick is to keep your head clean so you can hide the fact how old you are. So that's the way. No, it's dude, I'm just keeping it while I have it. In a matter of time, this will go off. So I might as well just enjoy the look for now. So in years to come, maybe five to ten years, yeah. I can say, yeah, I used to have long hair. I used to have long hair. Yeah. Like, right? A lot of throwback pictures, like what people people are doing right now. Have you noticed this one thing about the CMO? What's interesting about the CMO? Mm, that what everybody was going seems on? Yeah. to be posting all the pictures of throwbacks, the days when they used to have makeup on. Now, since they're out of makeup, all the ugly faces are out there. So they started showing all the throwbacks. <laughs> you know, you just pay attention to all the Facebook page. Nobody's showing their faces. They're showing the food. They're showing the weather out there. They're showing gardenia bread. But they are not showing their present faces because they got, mm. there's no makeup on their faces right now. Yeah, I, 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 I guess they're too lazy to just like dress up. I, I saw this uh, TikTok video. Okay, uh, disclaimer, I am not on TikTok. I just have to say that out loud. But I did see somebody posting this in which that um, an auntie la, basically, you know, got dressed up very nice, like Sunday dress, you all makeup, did the hair, whatever not. And then like with her, you know, Gucci handbag or whatever, just to throw out her trash. That's it. Yeah, I saw that. I think that was in UK or Australia. That was one of it. That's yeah. pretty much what's happening right now. No, but, it, it's, it's not even so crazy, note, man. Huh. On a serious note, it's only been two weeks and people are going bonkers. It's only two weeks, dude. And no, I'm like, like, oh my God, I can't take it. Dude, imagine if this goes out for six months. People are jumping off the balconies, dude. Oh, yeah, man. I mean, like, you know, don't get me started. That's actually a very scared realization to even actually think about it six months again people who are extroverts such as us i guess i mean it must have been driving you mad as well i mean like you're such a people person granted you like to live in your cave once in a while but you know two weeks is still a long time for you to just be Dude, by yourself me, and, me, and your wife must be cursing every day right for me personally <laughs> this is just another day dude it's just another day for me i mean yes i am a social person but on rare occasions, I go out. Maybe once mm. a month or twice. I mean, once in two months. Okay, mm -hmm. and the only time I go out is when I work. If I don't work, I don't go out. I'm at home most of the time. So for me, it's just another day. And I don't so know why people... So you're a closet introvert, like, basically. I mean, like as, as much of a talker that you are, the fact that you like to engage with people, but you're deep down inside, you're actually a closet introvert. Like. Only lately, like. Only, no, I think it comes with the age. Because, but the, because the it's kind of hard to find intellectual conversations these days when you go out. So I rather stay and don't talk wow, myself. Wow, dude. I mean, like, <laughs> no, there, there's, there's, there's definitely a lot of people out there who can entice you or can actually accommodate to your level of in, intellectual to be at par of what, as, at what you like to talk about, like, don't they? I mean, come on. There can't be that many people out there who are like that. No, right. if, if I'm hanging around with somebody, that means I like that person. I'm having a good conversation with that person. Okay. So that's why you rarely find me with other people. So whenever I post pictures that I'm with this guy, with that guy, that means I had a good time. So uh, when is the last week, uh, man? Huh? Uh, <laughs> I, 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 I actually... I actually... I actually... That one literally. Man. Hey, but yeah, okay. Like I said, I like I said like, this is all habits. I don't mean anything. Uh, no, no, this, course, is, course, this like, radio days is what I've been doing. We just like to pick on people just for the fun yeah. of it. So, so it goes you, on. Again, you were on tracks, right? I mean, like you, you. Were, how long were you on tracks before? Okay, I was in first. First time I was in Radio Four. 
Radio so 4. Okay. Radio so four. for all you kids out there, for all the millennials out there who don't know what Radio 4 is, it's actually a radio station on RTM way back when. When was this? Uh, late 80s, early 90s. No, no, it was uh, 2000, I think. It was in 2000. 2000, okay. 2000, 2001, plus, minus, and all that. All right, okay. So, Radio 4. Radio 4 was the English uh, radio station for RTM, right? Yes, yes, it was. Okay. And from there, it just rebranded itself to uh, uh, Tracks FM with the tagline of Experience Excitement. And then after that, it was uh, Travel and Music. So, I was there for that. those three phases. All right, okay. So, you were... A lot. You 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 were you were during the whole transition period, uh, shifting from one name another uh, to another. You were you were there, like You were present. Yeah, I was there. I was there. It was it's a good time? A good time. All right. And, and honestly speaking, as a guy who's been in radio on radio, sorry, uh, that's one of the best places you can work as a radio announcer. Mm. Okay. Trust me, it's and, one of the best places. And definitely, the fact that you've been on radio for for how how many years was it? I think ten. 10 years, right? You must have yeah, met a lot of interesting and really cool people while you're on air. Definitely, oh, right? Oh, yes. A lot. From celebrities to ministers uh, to, I mean, to politicians to, I don't know, some weird, weird people there. Anyone and anything and almost everybody you can think of was there. All right. So, so name, name one. I mean, like one memory that you can take by one person that you've actually had on your show that you had the pleasure in, in speaking with, uh, talking about whatever. Who would be that person? Local or international? Monkey Dal. Monkey Dal. Wow, okay. Yeah, is, nice it guy. Because of the hair? is this friend. a moment? Is it because of the hair? Is that inspirational? That kind no, of thing? Because this, of this guy is an amazing person. You know, when you invite a guest to the studio, the uh -huh. maximum, the usual cases you might find an artist like uh, for himself, like a musician, they'll come in with just a guitar, right? But yeah. this guy actually came in with a whole set, lock, stock, and pedal, amplifiers, assistant, pedals, and this and that. Oh, like, the whole works he brought in. But that, that was not the big deal. Okay, That was not the highlight of the interview itself. The highlight was, here I am having a question which lasted for approximately two minutes. Dude, are you still around? Okay, having a question that lasted almost two minutes. And what happens was, dude, I am talking and halfway through you went missing. All right, this is Sembang Sempoy. I okay, there you go, you're back. wanted to portray you to the fullest first. Come on, la. let me do the MC. Dude, people are suffering enough with this COVID nineteen. The last thing they need is a full face, fledged okay. face of mine. It's painful. Dude. <laughs> okay, do I'll, I'll stick to this. I'll stick to this. Okay, continue. You had okay. Monkey Dal, and he brought all of his amps and whatnot. Okay, go. All right, asking him yeah. questions over and over for about two minutes long. I was like, about mm. Monkey Dal, you did this, you did that. Wow. So what do you have to say about this and that? You mm. know what was his response was? What? Yeah. It must be hard. Every me. single question I asked him, that was the kind of answer that I got. Not more than three words of four words. Yeah. That so so I so uh, oh. I mean like no, no, no it's, it's really funny because I also had the 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 situation when uh, when I was on air and when I had a guest who's not really much of a talker. You know, I mean like you know you ask this long kind of questions like three four sentences kind of question and then the answer is just like yeah, betul yeah yeah and that's it. but but. But overall, this guy is the sweetest guy. He's an amazing guy. He's still my friend till today. We meet up uh, once in a while, bump into each other. He's an amazing guy. He was one of the best interviews. He didn't talk much, but he spoke to his guitar. That's all I can say. Oh, He's yeah. An amazing For sure, guy. man. He's I mean, like, you know, nice the, the things that he music. has done is just legendary. He's definitely at the legendary status uh, in, in Malaysian music. Because you know and what? I mean, like, yeah. And he's humble. He's very, very humble. Till cool, this very cool. day, the dude is super humble. Never actually showed that he was a legend or whatsoever. It just mm -hmm. remains, he maintains his cool, he talks to you well, he gives you the respect. And uh, that's pretty much it. What about someone international? Have you had the opportunity to speak or to interview somebody from abroad? A lot of them. I can't recall. Okay, to start off with the old school Scorpions, I had a chat with Scorpions. Like wow. Wow. Uh, let's say starting out from back then, then in recent years, uh, let's see who was that girl who sang with the Twilight song. Twilight song, what the vampire and, uh, movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What the girl? Uh, oh, yeah. Clap. I can't remember what her name was. Okay, yeah, la, but, but you, had, you had them on the show. You had them live in the yeah, I studio. interviewed them. I uh, had that, that Evanescence, uh, Amy Lee from Evanescence. Ooh, okay, nice. I met her and uh, met the list goes on. I had a long list of people that I actually chatted with. 
from back then. Mm -hmm. Too bad right. uh, during the days, uh, digital camera wasn't that famous and camera phones weren't that famous. Uh, mm -hmm. you know, it was there, but the pictures were crappy, so you hardly get yeah. any pictures or videos taken. Right, okay. Let, 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 let's just talk about that because when we talk about the evolution of the radio industry, because, you know, uh, yes, it is, as you mentioned, I mean, like, it has always been radio. It would be really, it would be so hard for someone to actually identify anybody who was on radio until you hear their voice. It's like, I've heard you before, that kind of thing. But now, you know, with, with the modernization of technologies and everything, and how radios are becoming like TV, you can do live, you got your Facebook live, you got your live broadcast and everything. The industry has changed a lot since you left it. So what's your take on that? I mean, like, are, are we really going through a phase where nothing, I mean, like everything must be on the screen, regardless of how big or small the screen is? Okay, you see, that that is the problem. Uh, but I, I wouldn't want to say problem. This is my personal opinion. Uh, mm. Everybody's so busy trying to focus on that. Uh, how do I put it this way? Advertise or publicize themselves, getting it, getting out more reach and so on. Even even the host. This was not the job of a host back in the day. Mm -hmm. The job as a host or radio announcer was solely focused on your show. But right now, you're so busy going on Facebook Live, social media, publicizing, giving a sneak peek, uh -huh. coming on the show and this and that, doing your own advertisement. So half of your time is gone doing that. Mm -hmm. So even... I mean, you're a radio host right now. I've seen you go live. Have you seen yourself whenever you speak? I mean, no, I'm saying whenever you're doing a show, you, without knowingly, you pay attention to your Facebook live, your stream yourself. So your concentration is about 20, 30% is gone over there. Okay. All right. And you've noticed what, what yeah, I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's yeah. nothing wrong about it because you are doing your best to actually get more listeners, make sure that everybody is viewing, everybody's tuned into the show because the effort you put in. But back then, we didn't care. It's just like you go in, you switch on the mic, bam, that's my show. So now people have to concentrate more effort that and a radio announcer has put in is way much higher uh, than before. So I'm not going to mention any radio stations. Or I'm not going to mention any um, host for that matter. But if you notice, they have a lot of things to do. They've got to come up with some videos, some sketches, you know, some things, some challenges. Too many things going on for them rather than just being an announcer and focusing on the audience itself. No, because funny you mentioned that, because because right now, I mean, like we're living in the year 2020 right now, and it has become a necessity, because, because it's not enough, as you mentioned, for somebody just to be on air and just to concentrate and being an announcer. Uh, somehow or other, it comes with the job. It's a bit of an occupational hazard where you kind of like have to do this, because not just for the sake of your station uh, specifically, but for yourself as well, because nowadays everything is just at a okay, different level. My question is this, my question, sorry to interrupt. My question is, since when it became a necessity? Who said it was as a necessity? Um, well, the trend. I, I'm blaming, I, I'm saying that. Okay, because, you're saying the trend. The Who trend. started the trend? Who said that that is the trend? Well, somebody must have started it and somebody must have followed it and took it to gospel. And and, exactly. It's, uh, just, it's just an, an assumption. A lot of things is based on an assumption that's mm. going on right now. Yeah, true. The proven study. Was there a proven study that a radio announcer has to do that? Um, was there any marketing rules that is coming out? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe there is, but I don't yeah, know. Maybe there is. Maybe there is. Yeah. Uh, because, because, of... Okay. Let, let, let me share with you uh, a situation because like, the radio station that, I work, that I'm working with right now, um, mm -hmm. They, they've actually hired a professional consultant. And, and okay. what the consultants did uh, is to make sure that the radio station um, gets, I mean, again, to, first of all, to be relevant still and to be on track and to make sure that people listen to you and not people listening to you because, again, the power of social media, they want people to interact with you as well. The engagement that comes while you're doing this and everything, it, it, it goes hand in hand with, the, uh, with, with how... Uh, media is being broadcasted. It's how media is being sold to everyone right now. So, again, I mean, they may have not been studies. I do not know personally. They may have been because it shows that after this consultant came in, um, numbers have shown uh, that, that there was a spike and uh, the graph was going up uh, in a positive way in regards of getting uh, viewerships and everything. So, the schematics is there. It does work. The plan has been implemented and it does work to a certain extent. So your yeah, your you see, that. you see the thing is they have I mean for me personally, like I said, this is nothing to do with the actual studies or what the facts or whatsoever. But 
on a personal yeah. note, I always feel that if you're a host, a radio announcer, your focus is 100% on your show only. You know, yeah. you should have somebody else taking care of all this additional stuff that you're doing. I mean, like I'm talking about Facebook Live or whatever stuff like that. Your concentration, don't, don't divert your concentration out from the existing show that's going on. Because a lot yeah. of cases that, uh, you see, everybody's following trend. Okay, as for radio announcers also, what happens is uh, back then, or maybe if you pay attention to some of the uh, some of the stations around the world and so on, everybody has their own identity. Yeah. So the problem is when people start following trend, what becomes what happens is everybody starts sounding the same. Mm -hmm. Okay, I get you. you yep. Get, you get what I mean. Everybody starts yeah. sounding the same. Same thing goes. Well, maybe on the first level, but not really like you now because at the end of the day, you are still you. You are unique. Hence why you belong to that radio station. That's why people listen to that radio station because okay, you see, of the uniqueness that you that's bring. The thing. That's the thing. If, even now, even uh -huh. then. You see the freedom of uh, our radio and so what they have is everything's to program and so on, right? Like I'm not mm. saying you have to pro program. You must have a program segment and so on. But the freedom that one person has and everybody, some some expert comes on board and say, no, this is how the thing is, what the market wants and so on. What happens is everybody becomes stagnant. You know, if, if this has the monotonous, monotonous sound, only a handful. If you ask me personally, only a handful of uh, radio announcers now sound different. Their programs sound a little different because of the way they present it, and so and not exactly following what the trend is. All right. So no, that one I can actually blame it on the content because at the end of the day, it's all about the content. It's all about what people want to hear. And mm -hmm. like it or not, sometimes this particular show or this particular trend or program exists on multiple radio stations. Is is because uh, it's what the people want. Hence, why they will come up with a certain type, some, some variations of it, but in actual fact, it's still the same thing. They will still do it. They just change the name and everything uh, and the way that they do it. But at the end of the day, it's still what the audience want, hence the content. So are we lacking this, of this content? This is another topic that like I always it? discuss on my Facebook page also. The, mm. the, the, the content about what people want. Mm. You see, I always believe instead of just giving what people want, you got to give what people need. Okay. Okay, you see, uh, back then, like I said, I was, uh, since, okay, I'm not to say old guy, but you see, from back then, when the days of Radio 4 or whatsoever, what happened was, even in terms of playlists and music and so on, people people actually uh, were educated of the new music, introduction of new music, okay, new artists, interviews, the content of interviews, the questions that are popped up is based, All based right. on... All right, we just lost you over there. You distill that, dude. Yeah. Do you that? Uh, yeah, I'm here, but you're okay. You're you're back. You're back. Just now you okay. were lagging. I I think it's an old computer, old phone. So yeah. Throw your computer away, please. Okay, but anyway, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay, so so we're we're talking about radios. Okay, uh, the music yeah. that we played, we didn't have programming. We just gave the listeners what they needed. Okay, introduction to music mm. that hasn't been heard before and so on. So people discover mm. the new music day by day and so on, right? But these days, when it comes to playlists, when it comes to playlists, a lot of stuff has been programmed, high repetition on songs that just because it's popular on the charts and so on, they keep repeating it over and over again, which what happens is a lot of other artists are mm. not being discovered. So your radio turned out to be a mm -hmm. segment okay. that only plays popular stuff, songs which are already popular. Okay, everybody can listen to it, and that's how the playlists continue to go on. You see, the obscure stuff when not play. There's a lot of artists, like for example, if you take uh, right now, if you ever get a chance to do the hashtag Malaysian Music Challenge, which was started by Russian Jamra, you you can see mm -hmm. the amount of artists over there. They have amazing talent, amazing artists. A lot of them, are, okay, most of them are recording artists from the local yeah. scene, but their songs were never played on air. No, this, this is actually an, another point of, uh, uh, another point uh, that, that we, uh, that, that we're in right now, because again, when, when okay, let's, let's talk specifically about musicians, because, you know, yesteryears, when we talk about, you know, the time there were cassettes, you know, I'm going back through the cassettes days, you know, and CD uh -huh. purchases and whatnot, they're not happening anymore right now. People just don't buy CDs anymore, cassettes, God knows, nobody knows what a cassette is. And a lot of musicians obviously rely on their exposure or their airtime on local radio stations, because that's how 
people, the masses, would get to know that this artist exists and this is their song, and from there they will go out and buy uh, their music. All right. Uh, but uh, as you mentioned, uh, is it fair to say that uh, in this current time right now, uh, being on radio is not even relevant anymore because a lot of people are using other platforms like YouTube or Spotify or Apple Music or whatever it is that's out there. So they don't really need the radio so much because people don't really listen to radio much at all anymore nowadays. I mean, like, do you actually turn on your radio when you get into your car? I gave up radio a long time ago, but anyway, I occasionally yeah, you know, do. As, as no, no, I occasionally yeah. do because they don't have an access to a radio. But the thing is, the thing is yeah. this: okay, if that was the case, if that was the case, mm. uh, what happens? Why do we still have radios on? Why do we still play music? Why do we have all those things going on? Publicity because campaigns. Wh why do we so still have TVs that... on? Because granted, people are watching YouTube. People are watching Facebook Lives right now. People are watching everything as an online content. To be honest, TV, uh, I mean, like, you know, like conventional media right now, the numbers have shown they have gone down tremendously. I mean, like the yeah, amount right? of money that's being put in into conventional media has dropped so far down. It's no, uh, had, see, the, the thing the is paper, this. TV and radio. Okay, uh, the thing is this, radio, okay, doesn't matter. It's only now, only lately, as on a, a year or two, that slide started to happen, okay, at the moment that all this so-called online platforms started kicking in. It's only for the mm. past one, two years, but still, radio is still relevant. TV is still relevant, no matter what's said and done. There's still mm. a group of people who don't exactly access. Let's face the fact, our, our data, our so-called online data, for you to keep on streaming your Spotify's or YouTube and so on, people will have some limit towards that. There's still another handful of people who are still going on radio, listening to radio, and it's also another platform for the artist in terms of advertisement. Okay, introducing an artist. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But, so but you have yeah, advertisement is the lifeline of, of media. I mean, regardless of whatever media it is. I mean, like I mean, even YouTube right now relies heavily on uh, advertisements, on ads, on 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 all this. Big, big companies, uh, small companies were buying ad spaces because that's how they live. Papers right now, how did, you know, like one of the biggest, the first uh, news publication uh, was closed down because the fact that they cannot get revenue in because people, they just don't read papers anymore. It's the media thing. Okay, you see, you see, that's, that's the thing. You have to evolve. You have to keep up with the times. Okay, mm. let's take one of the uh, major newspaper, for example. The print segment has... I mean, pretty much almost closed down, but same goes to radio. The content of radio is like you still have it. You listen to you online, right? Some of the stations, we don't go back because you go online. So it doesn't matter. So you evolve with times. You evolve with times. Instead of using radio frequencies, now you're using bandwidth, I mean, online frequencies and so on. So that that doesn't matter. It, it all by, uh, sorry, It all depends on the station, how they want to evolve and how they want to keep up with time. But we had, mm -hmm. back to the topic of artists, you have to make it a compulsory to include Malaysian music artists into your playlist. So my question mm -hmm. is, you know the talent, you know the talent, you know the music they come up with, so why aren't they actually pushing Malaysian music? Mm -hmm. So what, what are the criteria? If you say that, okay, fine, you're not going to play music artists because we are, we, it's not to the standard yet, what is your standard? What are you so expecting? So no from, proper from an artist? that has been placed. Yeah, so you want to say, okay, in order for me to play your music, you have to have this, 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 and then you will play. Fine, educate, educate the artists. Tell them why. But then again, for some artists, based on my personal experience listening to them, I know these artists. I know them personally. I visited their gigs. Their standards of, or other quality of uh, music is way uh, higher. Some of them are equivalent to what we hear on the usual commercial radios. So the mm. thing is, it's only when the moment you name it, oh, it's a Malaysian music, Malaysian song, that's where people start depreciating it. When you just play a song as it is, without even mm. making it sound or labeling them as a local track, well, that wouldn't be a problem. So unless your programmer or your music, whoever programmers in the back there has a good year, now this is never going to have come up and this is never going to, this problem is never going to be solved. But not Malaysian artists uh, not having the songs being played on that. Yeah, I, I guess that's one of hey, the wait, concerns. Wait, wait a minute. Why yeah. were we talking some serious stuff? You told me you were going to No, no, no. no. I, I, I went on something simple. You elaborated on like, you know, Dahi Krot kind of topics here right now. Okay, I was like, okay, we're talking about serious stuff here, man. I mean, like, but 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 no, 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 no. It's fine. What, what you have just pointed out is actually very, very true. 
I mean, like, I, I agree with you to a certain extent that, uh, like, artists nowadays in Malaysia specifically, unless you fit in into that category of masses, then it's really hard for you to make your name out there. Uh, because because I, I've I, I've seen both sides of the uh, both sides of the coin basically because you got like you know this gang budak budak baru nak up that kind of people I mean like as long as uh, as long as they can sing well and they have a very nice presentation they have a beautiful uh, face you know pretty da 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 and whatnot more often or not they will be able to get more airtime and not forgetting like I said the trend stated that when they have X amount of followers on their Instagram on their Facebook that makes it easier for them to get into these spaces because to the broadcasters i guess i don't know my opinion maybe uh it's easier for them to sell these artists versus somebody who's on the indie line who has not really been out there who has only about five thousand followers on their instagram it could be a bit hard for them to penetrate that market that you mass see, that, that market is specific that, that is the whole I thing think. it's like you know this this radio stations or TV stations depending on artists followers influencers that is wrong that is absolutely wrong you know getting somebody who just has a whole lot of influences or other followers the fact that and then playing their music just because they want to tap in into their uh, so-called social media or followers to gain I don't know to have traction on your listenership that is absolutely wrong because when you start doing that what's going to happen is you're going to have the battle between quality versus quantity. You know yeah. what I mean? Uh, but so again, unfortunately, yeah, 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 I totally get what you mean. No, but I mean, I mean, of course, I understand. Uh, like, like, you need you need numbers. I need you need numbers for your advertisements and so yeah. on, whatever not. But then mm. again, at, at certain part, a certain percentage of your so-called responsibility, you have to do something that balances things out. Because if yeah. you're going to play a page, just play every stuff that I can get on Spotify and YouTube and so on, then, then the real question comes in, why do I need a radio station? What's the purpose of a radio station in the first place? So if you're going to infuse something that you don't commonly find or com you don't commonly hear on uh, YouTube or Spotify, you want to play those obscure stuff, then you have a niche. But if you're going to keep on playing stuff that everybody needs, then don't complain that if no one's listening to radio. Yeah, uh, I mean, it's, it's See, a conundrum. You, that, uh, you talk about all serious stuff, man. <laughs> I don't want to do what? this, man. I don't want to be one of this, this annoying no, old man no, talking about stuff. <laughs> No, 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 it shows your true self. Unfortunately, dude, we are already running what, out of time. The Indian boy sitting down there grumbling for something, is I, it? I, 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 I didn't say, I didn't say. So, what I didn't say. <laughs> you, better, you better pick another question or else I went the whole thing, but I'm not going to go scared about this. Dude, I Because I know I one thing for sure, I'm never stepping into a radio station again okay. after this conversation. <laughs> I, I still want to cherry makan, so I don't want to close any of my doors. 33 minutes, okay? Um, we already been on air for 33 minutes. Uh, but yeah, I, I think that's all the time we have. I don't really want to bore. Come on, lot. man. I can go on and on. What, but 33 minutes? I know you can go I can go on, on for six hours. You call me. You better make sure I talk, man. You better give me sufficient air time. No, 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 no. no. I, I limit you 35. I'm giving you until 35 minutes. That's it. Mampu in 35 minutes. minutes. Nah, nah, that's fine. I again, I know that you can go all along. You're like, you know, one of those atuk grandpa who sits at the, you know, at the doorstep in front with the can play card with the walking stick and can talk all day long. I know that for sure. But so I want to explain talk. this. Those guys grumble. <laughs> no, you're you're showing sure you exactly. <laughs> so that's all the time we have for now, guys. Thank you. Really? Nah, yeah. Don't go yeah, yeah, Don't go don't go la. Talk la. Talk la. Don't go la. Thanks so much for coming on. Don't go la. Don't go la. Don't go la. Don't go la. Don't end the show. Don't wrap it up. Please don't wrap it up. I'm not leaving you. I'm not leaving you. You're not even on the screen right now. Okay. All right. Thanks so much. So rude of you. Wait. Wait. I'll find you. Okay. No, I'll, I'll wait for six months. That's when the doors are going to be back open anyway. You know what? I'm going to talk you in every interview that you have. I'm going to come on the chat board down there. Make your life as miserable as possible go, because go. you switch me off. MCO, the take care, guys. Be good. Be well. Yeah. Stay safe at home. Duduk rumah. Kita jaga kita. And be safe. Nah, say bye-bye. Do one. No, but... Bye, guys. <laughs> no, like, we, okay. About the staying home part. You know, uh, we Malaysians, okay. we told them stay home. Be safe. Yeah. And nobody listens. Everyone's going out. So, I have a nice message for you guys. Go out, man. Go out, go out.
keluar kena virus tidur hospital empat belas hari keluarga kau kena they don't get sarcasm much you have no, to no no I'm asking you to go out since you stay home they don't go out so I say go out lah go out get the virus spread it to everybody your loved ones and so on let everybody suffer so go ahead go fight for guarding your brain okay go and fight for guarding your brain nah say bye say bye oh my dude bye have fun bye you sure I can go out. I still go out. Bye. <laughs>